Okay, so here are a couple more inequalities for my review problems for calculus worksheet. Um, here we just have some absolute value inequalities, and these are pretty easy, easy problems. You won't see a ton of uh, absolute value inequalities, at least that I recall, um, when teaching calculus or taking calculus. You do see them when you talk about the uh, delta epsilon limit definition. Um, so you will see them in that case, but to solve an absolute value inequality of the form, uh, when you have less than some number, some positive number, all you do is just make a compound inequality. So we've got x minus 4 less than 7, but we also make that greater than negative 7. And again, all you're doing, right, if you can figure out what values make the absolute value between negative 7 and positive 7, well, the absolute value of any number between negative 7 and po positive 7 will be less than 7. So this is easy enough. We just add 4 to both sides, or I should say all sides. So negative 7 plus 4 will be negative 3. We're, we still have our x left over in the middle. Then we have positive 11 on the right side. So that'll be the solution set. We've got from negative 3 up to positive 11. Again, parentheses on both of those. Here we've got the absolute value of x plus 5 greater than 8. In this case, notice the inequality's been flipped. Well, what numbers can we take the absolute value of so that they're greater than 8? Well, if we can make the stuff inside the absolute value, well, greater than 8, that's going to work. Or the other solutions will be if we can make the absolute value, if we can make the number inside the absolute value bars less than negative 8. Because, right, if we make it less than negative 8, say negative 9, negative 10, etc., when we take the absolute value of that, we'll get a number, say, positive 9, positive 10, etc., and that will be greater than 8. So, okay, so for the first inequality, just subtract 5 from both sides. We'll get that x has to be greater than 3. Or, and again, subtract 5 from the second inequality. We'll get that x is less than negative 13. So the solution set in this case, well, okay, for it to be less than negative 13, that's from negative infinity up to negative 13, parentheses, union, and then it says it has to be greater than 3, so we'll go from 3 to positive infinity, and there's our solution set. So again, some pretty basic um, absolute value inequalities, nothing crazy here. Uh, again, I don't think you'll see them a tremendous amount, but just to remind you on how to solve them, there, uh, there's a couple of them.